Hello everyone. Welcome to the SQLT channel. In this video, we are going to talk about another problem that we got from Singapore Mass Olympiad from 2009. In this problem, we have a beautiful expression and we want to evaluate this. In this expression, we have the third root of 77 minus 20 times the SQLT root of 13 plus the third root of 77 plus 20 times the SQLT root of 13. Before moving forward to talk about the solution, make sure that you pause the video to think about this problem. Remember, we are not allowed to use any calculator here. To solve this problem, we are going to use x and y for the first term and the second term. And what we are going to do is to calculate x plus y, which is denoted as a here. The first thing that you are going to notice is if you do power of 3 of x, then you are going to remove the third root and you are going to end up with 77 minus 20 times the square root, root of 13. This is true for y2, so we are going to calculate that and find y to the power of 3. Interestingly enough, if you calculate x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3, you can remove 20 times the square root of 13, and you will end up with 154 for x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3, which is an integer and it's nice. The other thing that you can notice is we have negative 20 square root of 13 and plus 20 square root of 13 in the first term and second term. So if we multiply x and y, we can use a minus b times a plus v, which is a squared minus b squared here. Let's do that. And we are going to end up with the third root of 77 to the power of 2 minus 20 to the power of 2 times the square root of 13 to the power of 2, which is basically 77 to the power of 2 minus 400 times 13. Now if you do the calculations, you can see that we are going to end up with the third root of 9 to the power of 3, which is basically 9. So we have xy is equal to 9, and we have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 is equal to 154. What you are going to see here is something very interesting that we can use to solve this problem. We have x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 and we have xy. What we are going to do is to calculate a to the power of 3 first. a to the power of 3 can be written as x plus y to the power of 3 or it can be written as x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 plus 3 times xy times x plus y. And remember, we already calculated x to the power of 3 plus y to the power of 3 and also xy. So what we are going to do here is to replace the values that we found and we will end up with a to the power of 3 is equal to 154 plus 3 times 9 times x plus y, which is a again. So what we are having here is a to the power of 3 minus 27a minus 154 is equal to 0. To solve this, we are going to use rational root theorem again. Remember, we talked about this in the past videos. Basically, it talks about the conditions that we need to have to solve a polynomial equation and to find roots of for this polynomial equation. In the polynomial equation that we have, we need to have integer coefficients and the first and the last coefficient should not be zero. If we meet the conditions that we have here, we can find rational solutions for this polynomial equation. To find the rational solution, x is equal to p over q, we need to find p and q in such a way that p is an integer factor of a0 
and q is an integer factor of coefficient a n. Here, we don't have any coefficient for a to the power of 3. So that's simple. On the other hand, we have negative 154 for a0 and p should be an integer factor of this term. Consider all the factors that we have for negative 154. We are going to start with using 1, negative 1, plus 1, negative 2, and so on and so forth. You can see that those values cannot make this equation as 0. The only thing that we are going to see is using 7 here. If we use 7, you can see that we will end up with 0 for the equation. So a minus 7 is a factor of this polynomial. If you factor out a minus 7, you will end up with a squared plus 7a plus 22 for the second term here. And you can verify that we cannot find rational value for a to make this second term as 0. So the only solution that we have is a is equal to 7, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching the video. If you would like to see more puzzle and math involved activities, please subscribe to the channel. This is the SQRT channel.